Legend has it that Satala, the Witch of Envy, was sealed away 400 years ago after the Great Calamity, where she ravaged half the Earth. A dragon, a sage, and a hero responsible for the seal. Yet, we see her at the end of last episode. Why? I've been thinking really hard as to what happened. And the more I thought about it, in the anime reaction, I said, Did Satala possess Amelia's body? We don't see Amelia's body anymore. And Satala is here, manifestated. Betrugus' goal in the Day of the Ordeals was to collect a body that could be a potential compatible vessel. But that still doesn't explain how the soul that was sealed away, assuming that it was a soul sealed away, right? How the fuck did it show up? I got a couple theories. First, I think the most intuitive one is, yeah, somehow the seal is broken or it's maybe partially weak and it escaped and possessed Amelia's body and that's what we see. Second is, if you go back to season one, episode seven or eight, Biko tells us, legend has it, that during the seal, the body was never destroyed. The flesh was not destroyed, implying Satala does have a body. It's not like Echidna. Echidna's body doesn't exist. Her soul is sealed away by Volcanica, which is the dragon that Lugunica Kingdom made a covenant with. But Satala's body exists, therefore, is this just Satala's body and not Emilia's body? But how do you explain the seal part? Maybe the seal is weakened and there's like a partial leakage? Or maybe the craziest controversy or the conspiracy is there was never a seal and we were gaslit by the legends. I don't really know what's going on. The more I think about the relationship between Satala and Subaru, I think the theory now for me is this. Subaru is someone that resembles Satala's past lover 400 plus years ago. But due to some unfair things that happened with the world, that lover was killed. And out of the rage, she consumed all the other witches and tore half the world apart. I think that is a decent idea as to why she would just destroy half the world like that and just has this obsession with Natsuki Subaru. Maybe there's something else going on with time travel because she apparently, I'm assuming, I mean, she is the one that gave us the regression powers maybe through the witch factor of envy, pride combined. I'm not really sure, but maybe there's some different way where a future timeline Subaru is so hot and amazing and Satala fell in love with that, but that doesn't explain how, why she would destroy the world 400 years ago. So I like this theory of Subaru resembles her past lover. Maybe Subaru is a reincarnation of the past lover. I don't really know, but that's what I'm going with right now. There were some very interesting things going And also, another crazy thing is, you know how the world of Razor was flat and the edges of the world have like waterfalls? What does it mean to destroy half the world? Was the Razor world? Always flat? 400 years ago too? If, there, if there's any passage that proves that, then my schizo theory is about to go wrong. But what if Satala destroying half the world is the reason why the world is flat? Like, if it's just a flat world, you cut through half of it, then which part of the world was destroyed back in the past, right? Because you have Gusteka, and to the east you have Lugunica, then to the south you have, Vol you have Valakia, and to the west you have Kararagi. Exactly which area was ravaged half? Maybe half of the world doesn't exist anymore and that's why it's fucking flat right now? I, 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 I don't really know, but it's really interesting things to question. But my favorite scene last episode, Roswell. Mm -hmm. Roswell has now shown us that he has a gospel. And I don't know if this is the grimoire of truth that Biku also has, right? The perfect copies from the Tomb of Wisdom. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But he has it and he directly states it this time. Try not to make any mistakes next time, Natsuki Subaru. I'm getting fucking chills. That was my favorite part of the episode. Let's begin today's reaction. Yeah. Petra and Remmer in danger. Okay. Reason, Ram. Yeah. Everybody. Ram sacrifice. Yep, everybody. I don't know about Amelia. Like, 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 I, I, I don't know. I, like, Amelia, like, is this Amelia's body that's been possessed by Satala's soul? Or is this pre-existing Satala body? I don't really know, right? It's very ambiguous. There's no answer. 
button. Oh. <laughs> I thought there was only two Ryuzus. We, we have an army of Ryuzus? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, I mean, this is extra points, right? I anytime we regress, as long as we get new data, it's always helpful. Now we know that there's like a shitload of Rizus. Okay. Empty. No souls? Just dolls? Bait? We're just gonna use an army of lollies to fight Satala? <laughs> Alright. Yo. And notice how she never says any other words? Legend has it that like, Satala can't speak the human language. She's saying this shit, but it's basically me saying I can speak Japanese even though I only say nani. You know? Like until she forms a full sentence as a conversation with us, I'm gonna believe that legend. Let's go. Unseen hands. <laughs> okay, they're not even bait. They're suicide bombers. <laughs> Every one of them is a suicide bomber. <laughs> but she talked to Betrius last season? Oh, good point. She says, you're not the one. It's not a full sentence, fuck you. Oh, that's an application of Unseen Man I've never seen. That's like, within. Stabbed, and then shadows come from within. Damn, that's strong. She's so powerful. That's kind of cute. Do you see Satala right now? She's just like going back and forth, just like, Livy, <laughs> Livy, <laughs> shut up, hey Livy, hey Livy, shut up. <laughs> oh. She says Subaru-kun. She's saying her. Okay, okay, okay. I stole not a full sentence, but she says Subaru-kun. Rem, Rem. Okay, this is directly confirmed. A lot of people were memeing about how Patrash or someone else could be number two, but now this is confirmation that it's Amelia and Rem. Of course it was, but <laughs> it's kind of funny to think, like, who could number two be instead of Rem, you know? He really said that, huh? I mean, shit, we turned her phone off and went to the party with Echidna, but like, Sata might not have known, I don't know, but we just directly tell her, that's, that's mean, man, that's so fucked up, but... I mean, what she is doing is... vile. But what she said... I don't know, that, that's kind of mean, but I understand why he would say that. Love me. Love me. What the hell's happening? It's like a mixture of him losing his mind and laughing and then getting back to it. I, I don't know. Past memories? Forever and ever and ever. Just endless ASMR of just love me, love me? What is the implication there? The compensation with Petra's handkerchief. She said that it could like meddle with interfere with something. So Subaru sees the handkerchief in the memories right now as we fucking get engulfed by the darkness. <laughs> Petra's handkerchief, you see it. Did she meddle with it to protect us somehow? Now, I don't know what it really means to meddle with the handkerchief like that, but... It, assuming Echidna knew that Satala was coming, maybe she tampered with it to kind of like protect us? It's glowing. Is that a butterfly? 
Because we do see a butterfly correlation with Echidna, especially in the openings. I'm not really sure. Handkerchief blowing. Oh, it turned into a weapon that he can kill himself with, I think. I see. So Echidna just clutched for us. I think that's what the medal means. Like, without that, we would have been for forever just been engulfed by the darkness and just love me, love me, love me. Echidna clutched so hard here for us. Damn. <laughs> Buffalo. And like, think about it from her perspective. The only reason she gave him this power is for him to just keep living, right? She doesn't want him to die. The one person she obsesses over has killed himself to get away from her. Kind of probably hurts, but like, bitch, you're, what you're doing is also insane. Amelia's face. I mean, it, it's Amelia's voice actor just looks pretty much like Amelia. I don't know, but she looks pretty sad and upset. I feel bad, but you know, like... Wait, did he just wipe her tears off? He did, that was his hand, right? This is not an unseen hand wiping the tears, right? This is Subaru's hand. Save you. I'm going to save you. Huh. <laughs> Even here, he's raising up witches. You know what Echidna said about how Subaru is just so good with just witches. He, he really is. That was the interest. I'm gonna save you? It went from him hating her and saying, get the fuck out of here, let me die. Sees her crying, and he's like, I swear I'll save you. And in episode 15, you think it's Amelia? In episode 15, um, in the Shadow Garden episode, not the episode, the cut content, where, where, where he, Subaru sees Satala after dying from Puck, he subconsciously feels this love, inexplained love, that he, he doesn't know what it's about. So I wonder if this moment is also just kind of like that we're subconsciously acting, even though he doesn't know why, I swear I'll save you. I, I wonder if that's an example of that, because I don't want to think that this is Amelia, bro. I, I, I don't. I feel like this is some subconscious shit that's like leaking out. Like that time he subconsciously mentioned number 2000 in the season 1 finale as well. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's Amelia, but maybe it's not a lot of subconscious. Who knows? <sighs> this useless bitch. What the hell is all that about? I still don't know if that was Amelia's body possessed by Satala. Or if that was just Satala's body that wasn't destroyed because they mentioned the flesh wasn't destroyed. But what about the fucking seal? How did she show up? Maybe the seal is weakened. I'm not really sure. Maybe that wasn't the extent of Satala's entire powers. I don't really know. But that, I'll save you. I'll save you. It has to refer to subconsciously Satala from the previous memories, right? It's gotta be. No, I know it's the episode one shit. But that stuff is st straight up how like Satala re responded to it. Like if the, I'll definitely save you. Like that shit was like straight up from. I don't know. I want to believe that it's subconsciously Satala. What about the clothes? <laughs> what about the clothes? You can just. You manage in closing. I, I don't think that just because she's not in the melee clothes, it means that she didn't possess. Like, there's a different ways to do it. But I think the clothing is very trivial information that could easily be changed. If the clothing, and inf I mean, if, if not, then we can just assume it's just Satala's body. I still want to believe that it's Satala's body and it wasn't possessing Amelia. That, that's like a really interesting point, though. Why the hell do we need to possess? Like, why did Betrigus try to find a body for Satala to possess? Why? Because his gospel told him to? I don't know. Maybe the body that wasn't destroyed is unfunctioning though, right? They said they couldn't break the flesh, but like, does that mean it's just inoperable? That therefore, even if a body does exist, like, she, she still needs like some other things? I, I don't know. Listen, you keep fucking talking about that hairpin. You are literally at this level of thinking right now. I want you to realize this. You are just spamming hairpin, hairpin, hairpin. I am literally just thinking about the deep subconscious level. Come on, bro. Try a little harder. Emilia. Oh, he's scared of her. 
because the Amelia is subtle and subtle as Amelia, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's scary. The PTSD from Amelia, too? Huh. <sighs> Looks just like her. <laughs> I mean, yo. Trial. Yeah, you failed again. Are <sighs> oh, you scared as fuck? Because Dark Amelia is scary. <laughs> now, what do we do, man? Now, what do we do? If we get out of here. Garfield is going to be more suspicious. We need to handle that immediately. How the fuck do we stop Garfield right now? I would like to go meet Echidna again. Like, what the hell do we do? <laughs> okay, Ram. Yeah, maybe we should do that more often. You don't want a weak look weak in front of girl. The awareness. <laughs> that pride mention. Ram, please. Hmm. I think, he, I think Alto's right. Alto's right. Absolutely. I didn't think of it that way. Everything Ram is doing right now is because she's also worried. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. <laughs> Are we getting baited? I don't know. Oh, no, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, 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 don't trust this. By all means, he should be more suspicious. We stink even more right now. No, 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 like, assuming Garfield isn't putting up an act, assuming that, then that means our witch's miasma is at a low level. But how could that make sense? Did Echidna do something for us? Did Satala do something? <laughs> I don't know. We're assuming that Garfield's being honest right now and isn't suspicious. If we go with that assumption, then did Echidna or Satala do something for us? I'm not sure. But... By all things that's been shown to us, he should be stinky as fucking Garfield should be even more sus and he's just acting right now. I don't know. Okay. Alright, we're kinda getting lucky with Garfield. <laughs> Rev is just spamming the hooms, bro. Oh my god. Huh? Please keep Garfield on a leash. Why? Alright, there we go. <laughs> but that's what was happening. So like, when we were in that shadow engulfed by Satala, it was like, we saw so many different scenes, and I thought it was just like, Satala going over his memories or something, but he merged with consciousness? The victim's memories. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to spend the time right now to go over all of the fucking different scenes just to see if Amelia was in there because then it would prove that Amelia was a victim or something, but... <sighs> what the fuck is this? This is not the same ruins, right? This is the HQ? Sorry, sorry, so this is where we were locked up? Is it? Because he found this place by jogging the memory through different people's consciousness. What is this building? Is 
It's the butterfly again, bro. It's Echidna's mark, right? Echidna and the butterflies. He had past memories of how to... And it's a key for that too. Interesting, okay. I don't know whose hand this is, but... You know, he merged consciousness, so he's aware of like how to get here. This is helpful. See? Sato just helped us so much. She gave us ASMR. She said, I love you. She helped us get more information, how to progress. Wow. She's great. The door opens. Is there a crystal? Oh, the Ryuzu clones. This is where it's all made? The suicide bomber. The, the army of Ryuzus. Is this how it's all made? Who's coming? Both Ryuzus. <laughs> He's being honest. And it was you. That was the hand. This was the hand that we saw that put the crystal on the thing. Yeah, we saw the white one before. Yes, when we first arrived. No? Okay. So it looks like this, what Ryuzu in the black coat is kind of more important. And there's a bunch of other copies that are wearing mostly white coat, like the other one we saw earlier. I thought she called us Apostle of Greed for a second. Apostle of Greed is what has been written in the contract that binds us. Greed, Witch of Greed, Echidna. Outside the door, there was a butterfly as well, right? Echidna. There's a lot of Echidna stuff going on. Contract. Copies of Ryuzu Meyer. <laughs> We're not a lollicon. We are not a lollicon. The only lollicon is Reinhardt. Not really. She's still holding on. Echidna is very greedy for knowledge. You tell me she just goes on doing random experimentations? Just creating shit for the fun of it? Just to see what would happen? Rizu and everything? These are creations by Echidna? Facility, it's like a research lab. You're all homunculi, right? You're like dolls. Ryuzu Meyer. Meyer. Got it. She's the origin. She's still holding on. <laughs> really? Rizzed. Ooh, Odo mentioned again the container thing that, you know, you know, it's important for the mana, right? Cores of artificial Odo that has been produced by magic. Okay. Cores were wrapped in mana. That's how they create these extra dolls. Yeah, artificial Odo. Or fun. A soul. But a kid in his own being? Some sort of fucked up experimentation. So like, the whole Ryuzu shit was like kind of like a pursuit for immortality, kind of for fun. But the obsession with Subaru... And Better Goose, well that's kind of more possession, but... Essentially, the concept is, you know, just one soul leaving. And we've created like an artificial soul here, but just basically multiple bodies, host, 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 immortality, kind of, I guess. Just more knowledge. She just wants, right? Mm. Incompatible. Because, like, remember, Betrigu is trying to find compatible vessels for Satala. Ryuzu Meyer was an incompatible vessel for the Witch of Gree, so it was failed. 
wonder what's the criteria for the compatibility. Hmm. That was an interesting question there. And she couldn't have figured that out before she tried it? And Ryu just takes a look and just says nothing to imply that, hmm, I guess she could have, but that's kind of fucked up. Okay. Yeah, and they're just suicide bombs now. <laughs> It's just an army of lolly suits. Like, a kid in this project for immortality has turned into just a lolly army of suicide bombers. I mean, shit, I, I guess. Wait. We should... We should literally take all the Ryuzus and go to the mansion. Yo, Elsa, Beast Tamer. Go my army of lolly suicide bombers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. A cork I acquired over my long life. Is this really not something similar to a kinesthetic? Because like it was failed compatibility, but I'm just wondering if there's some fragments of a kidness quirks that may have been passed on and this 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 tea stuff. I don't know. First four copies made. 400 years again, when everyone died due to Witch of Envy. Okay. ヒノカンリをするために知識と人格を与えられてな。うん。モルト時頃。したよ。記憶はないのに役割だけはある。めて得たのは果て生後何年経った頃じゃったやら忘れてない。わしはわしなりにこの役目を果たすことを。最初に
for us to control. On a hug pillow. Dori. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I'll need to keep up the good work as an eye, and then, you know, she lets go and continues to act as a guard, so. <laughs> Subaru has an army of suicide bomber lollies you can control. Nice. ありがとな、ユーズさん。そういえば、ユーズさんはビル持って込めたよな。俺はどこから？ made it up. Made it up. So she made it up just to be individual. After tomorrow, ask the same question again. About why you have the last name Bilma? Okay. Rabbits. What kind of nightmare awaits her? She's scaring me. Go away. What are you doing here? Mm. Remember. Amelia's true age, probably super, super fucking old. Oh, some nice music. Amelia's looking very heavenly. EMF! Amelia, Mega, Fairy. Calling you a fairy is mean? You look like a fairy. That's, you, you look. Angelic right now. Are they? Oh, 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 that's some important lore. Fairies are a type of an evil spirit? I did not know. Is Betrugus an evil spirit? He is, right? Is Betrugus a fairy? I don't know, but like evil spirit. Betrugus is an evil spirit. It's a type. A fairy is a type of it. Doesn't really mean he's a fairy, but. Alright, good to know. <laughs> By the cultural barrier? Yeah, where's Puck though? Gone. Just like Ren. Oh boy. Okay. Puck was here. Why isn't Puck here? I feel like it has to do with Echidna. Like, isn't he just in the crystal right now? Like, I don't know if he's in here or not, but Puck just being gone is just... Maybe it makes sense because of the oath he made with Echidna or something in the, you know, Frozen Bunch that we learned about, and he's interfering too much, and the proximity with Echidna right now is maybe not good. I, I don't know. That that's just my guess on why Puck is just AFK right now. Chitter! <laughs> At least he knows. <laughs> At least he fucking knows. Emilia was rich, yeah. 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 Including this one, 16 episodes. And we know what the all of arc 4 is. <laughs> it's this season, so like... <laughs> she taking her sweet fucking time. Maybe by episode... Maybe in 15 more episodes, she'll cook and clear it, guys. Alright. Village people. Otto. Oh, Otto sleeps here? <laughs> <laughs> the father. おまえは過保護の母親かよ。<laughs> <laughs> We have to. Otto has been so helpful, but hey, I just appreciate Otto always being there. Emilia, hmm? 
Elsa again. Oh boy. 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 Oh what happens when he loops, right? That timeline still continues, right? So it's kind of helpful for, I guess, that timeline. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's we'll never know. It won't really matter to us, but it's kind of like respectful, I guess, for the people of that timeline. You, you just letting them know, right? About that unlimited respawn thing, don't take it as face value. Echidna said, it's just conjecture, but no, it's not a hundred percent. Like a lot of people just assume what Echidna said was just one hundred percent fact, but she literally prefaced it, right? She 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 said it's just conjecture. So I was like, wait, what did what what did you just say? Like I was too hyped up, and I was like, oh shit, let's go unlimited tries. But I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> ルーズ。たとえ消える線にしてしまう世界だとしても、エミリアに悲しい顔はさせたくない。傷は悪程の攻略。屋敷で何が起きているかを見極め、自浄さえ分かれば、駅と何だって試す。それが俺だけの価値
uh, Witch's Graveyard, Sanctuary, rather, uh, Mather's Domain, Echidna Sealed by a Volcanica, uh, Echidna's Immortality Experiment, Ryuzu Clones. Uh, I, I think I know. I, I think we know by this point. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what pain or suffering even are. And I guess to them it seems like it, but if only they knew. Yeah. Look into my eyes. Yes. Dude, this man. I know what hell is, right? Remember last episode at the end, Roswell saying. You know, if it's hell that you wish, then I'll follow you, right? If it's hell that you want to be, and I'll strive for it. Like, yes, Subaru has walked down hell multiple times. And this should be enough instincts, right? Like, if Kurushi's entire thing of trusting Subaru was with the blessing, right? To see the wind to lie right now with Garfield. I think that all we have to do is show him our resolve in the eyes that have actually seen hell. And his intuition will be like, shit. I think you're right. That bluff works so well, man. Look at that. Yo, let us go now, right, Garfield? Damn. Bro, I can't believe he fucking did that. He just straight up just made Garfield back off with the bluff into an actual confirmation of I do know hell, and I think the look in the super is eyes, the resolve, right? Garfield acknowledges it, and he can't do anything about it. So, that's one way of overcoming the Garfield problem. Okay, I know hell. Is there anything more? There is more. Rika. <laughs> Yeah, do we? Lustful. It did really help. Well, if Petra's handkerchief thing was not there for Echidna to meddle with, was there really nothing else? Like, was there no way that Echidna could have done that shit with her jacket? You know? But regardless, Petra did indirectly clutch. Echidna. Absolutely clutched, 100%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has raised up everyone in the mansion, even Roswell. I would argue Roswell has been the most raised out of everyone. To Roswell, I feel like Subaru is his like winning lottery ticket. Straight up just been waiting his entire life for someone like this to show up. And now he's just solving every one of his problems. Like, I bet... He is the biggest fan. Like, you think you are Natsuki Subaru Simp? I feel like Roswell is. <laughs> look at this girl. Look, look, look at this girl, bro. She's she doing the same shit we do. You know how we would force a date on Amelia as like a reward after we did something? Yo, she fucking learning from us, man. So sinful. <laughs> First date. But like, Subaru knows what a date is. With a child? <laughs> She's 12. <laughs> I still don't think Subaru is a lollicon, but there's a lot of lollies that's been really coming around. Like the witches as well. Tifon and Good and Daphne as well. There's there's so many more and all the Ryusus, bro. Like, oh my god. Reinhardt could never. Mother. <laughs> Why did they just show a super sass? <laughs> He's cheeked up as fuck right now. What the what is this white fox? Why? This <laughs> one. Ah. Alright. But that's the problem, Biko, man. Is she going to? I don't know, man. Biko, I am the one. I am him. So, you're finally here, I suppose. I'm gonna assume she's been waiting because the Primar told her that she would be arriving at this point. But like, his last time is not her last time. You know? His last time actually here... When was the last time we actually... In a successful run, I forget, but like... 
you know, like, remember that episode where, where Bieko having the gospel was a thing? Like, and surprisingly, the grimoire is over here right now on the table rather than being hidden in the fucking, this thing, this chair thing, right? That got broken and got thrown away. Like, I wonder if these are animation inconsistencies. Yeah, when Goose, yeah, Goose gospel, exactly right. But like, I, I wonder if the grimoire, like, takes into account of all possible loops or like rewrites the instructions based on Subaru's progress. You know what I mean? Because like, Bieko was saying, you're finally here, I suppose. He's here early. Last time she never said anything. I don't know. Like, I could. Is it just getting patches, updates? Every loop it changes? I Maybe, because it can't be the same always, right? I don't know. Contract. I am the one. Ayako, what are you trapped by? Yeah. The fact that Subaru is Biko's savior is ironic. Why? Because Beiko has saved Subaru before, and now Subaru saving Beiko is ironic? I need to think a little bit more about this line. I'll definitely be thinking about it tonight. She is smiling. I don't know. And that's the episode, man. The ending is very interesting with Beiko's line. I'll have to really analyze exactly what's going on. Because, like, I don't know. Is Biko saying ironic that like Subaru is the one that's about to save her implies that Biko has already saved Subaru before. Yeah, in Arc 2, kind of, right? Maybe it's just, it's just that simple, but with ReZero, you, you really never know. I think the most interesting stuff in today's episode, I guess, is with the Apostle of Greed stuff, right? Basically, you are marked if you have ever, <laughs> I don't know, become one with the witch by accepting her fucking piss tea or, you know, stuff like that. The, the hair cookies, right? The pube cookies. A kid that definitely put her pubes in those cookies and we never ate it, but I wonder if we did what would have happened. So I'm assuming that we can definitely, you know, like control these lolly suicide bombers. Um, the other thing is Ryuzu telling us to ask her a hey, next afternoon or something, uh, ask the Bilma question again, which is interesting. I don't know exactly why. Mm, to confirm, I, I don't know. I don't know. But like this stuff here in the beginning, right? Satala, Emilia, same person? Not same person. From the beginning, it's just always been hinted that Amelia and Satala resemblance is uncanny, right? And that Amelia being a potential vessel as well, along with the fact that the voice actor is the fucking same. And I know that, you know, Satala here has different hairpin and different clothing, but I think these are trivial um, aesthetic choices that can simply be overwritten by just magic. I don't think, but like, did Satala possess Amelia's soul? Is this Satala's real body? I don't really know. Echidna coming in clutch here, saving us as we're just in this like infinite... What's going on here? It's like this infinite plane of existence where Satala just continues to say, love me, love me, love me. And until we love her, nothing would change. But Echidna like helps us. I, I really wonder how much time has passed during all this time of her engulfing us in the shadow and just going, love me, love me, love me, love me. But Echidna clutches for us and Satala is crying because obviously Satala loves Subaru, right? Assuming that he is some sort of resemblance of a past lover or perhaps a reincarnation of a past lover. And the entire reason she gave him this power is so that he would not die. But for him to kill himself to get away from Satala, I'm sure hurts her. And then the most interesting thing is the action that Subaru takes saying, I will save you. Do you think that the I will save you was directed at Amelia? Maybe, but I would like to think that it's some sort of subconscious arising and saying, I'm going to save you, Satala, just like how we know from the cut content of the Shadow Garden stuff, of the inexplainable love that he has, as well as different times when he leaks like associated stuff with Satala, like the 2000 number in the season one finale talking with Amelia. Maybe there's something in there that's been forgotten that's reaching out to do this. I don't know, man. There's a, there's a lot of fucking questions, but that's it for me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.